Just Less Creations. Thanks for joining us for another episode in our back to school tutorial kick pops. Today we're going to do uh, a little pink eraser. Do you remember those erasers in school? The little pink ones outside of your pencil? Big ones. They lasted all year long unless you're like me and you needed them all the time or you threw them or we're not going to get into that. Anyway, today we're going to make a cake pop that looks like one of those little pink erasers. Let's get started. First thing we're going to need is our cake pop dough. So we're just going to fill our dough. We'll do two. In case something happens with the first one, we always have a backup. Stuck on the inside of my cookie dough thing. Get all the rest of it out of there. Okay, we'll put this aside for the next ones. All right. So first thing we're going to do is roll it into a ball. We're going to roll it clockwise. Squeezing it, making sure there's no air bubbles in there. You'll feel it when it comes together and then when it does, Go backwards. Okay, so we have this nice little ball and we're gonna form it into a rectangle. So all I'm doing is just squeezing, forming this little rectangle shape. Like so. All right, and then on the one end, so I've got it's probably about a half an inch thick. On the one side, I want that angle. We'll put it on the table so I actually have a place to make that angle. Just on the end. Flatten it up. Okay, and then we're going to flip it over and do the angle from the opposite end. Do you remember that? That there, it went opposite sides. And keep that nice rectangular shape. It's a little rounded, so I'm going to actually pick it up and square that up a little bit. I'm just going to push it down with my finger, creating that nice rectangle shape again. And there we go. So when you look at it from the side, like that. All right, so I'm going to grab my lollipop stick. I've got pink right here. I'm going to give it a nice stir, make sure the temperature of my chocolate is nice and even. My lollipop stick is already um, dipped once in white chocolate. I'm going to dip it a quarter of an inch in on the pink chocolate. And I'm going to put it through the, the middle of the thick part, the half inch thick part. I'm going to turn it clockwise until I feel it catch. And then I'm going to go backwards a quarter of an inch. And that's it. And I'm just going to wipe that off. Like so. Let's do the second one. Again, I'm just going to squeeze that air out of there, rolling it clockwise. and then roll it back, make that nice little circle. And then I'm just gonna make it into that rectangle shape. Like so. And I'm just gonna push it down, make a flat edge on the one side. Try to keep that rectangle of shape. Flatten that edge out. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to push it down to the paper, keeping that rectangle shape. All right, and then I'm just going to square up that edge. Super simple, super easy. 
grab my lollipop stick. There you go. We've got that shape again. Quarter of an inch dipped into our chocolate. Tap off the excess. And then we're going to put it in the center, turning it clockwise until it catches. And then turn it a quarter of a turn back. Just make sure you have your finger marks all flattened out of there. And then wipe off that excess, just like that. Okay. Now we'll let this sit and set up until um, that chocolate hardens a little bit on the inside and then we will be back to dip our erasers. All right, we're back. We're getting ready to dip our erasers in our chocolate. Um, hopefully the chocolate on the inside is firmed up well enough that we can dip it and it not fall off. So let's get started. We've got our chocolate melted. I'm just gonna give it a nice stir. There's a little bubble there. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay. So we're gonna put it in at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna turn it around just until that chocolate um, connects with itself. Make sure you get it all the way up to the lollipop stick and that's it. We're just gonna shake off that excess. And so I don't know if you can see it, but I had a little bit of funfetti chocolates left, which is a white chocolate with little pieces of pinks and blues and um, other colors in there. I went ahead and threw it in with the pink. We're ta already talking school kids, elementary kids. So it's actually pink modeling chocolate or pink melting wafers um, with the funfetti in there. So it's got these little sprinkles in there. I thought it would be cute for the erasers. off the bottom. Oh, I took too much off. I exposed the cake pop down so I'll just fill that back in. Because it's still nice and wet now all we have to do is shake it and it'll smooth that chocolate out. Alright and then we can put it over here and let, oh, there's an air bubble. And then we can let it sit over there. It looks like an eraser. Let's do the other one real quick. Drop it in. We're going to spin it just till the chocolate hits itself. And then we're going to shake the excess off. Now we'll just let it sit and firm up. And we'll be back and we'll write eraser across it. So we'll show you what it's like to write on chocolate. All right, we're back. We've got our erasers. They have firmed up enough that I think that we can paint on them without chocolate coming off. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put the word eraser right across it. You don't have to. I decided I was gonna do it. For those people that can't look at the cake pop and See that it's an eraser. I'll just help them out. So, all right, so let's take our poppy paint. We'll just put a little bit on our tray. I'm just gonna lay it down here so it doesn't rock on me. soaking into my chocolate. That's how you know it's not quite um, completely set. It's just soaking into my chocolate.
There we go. Now we have a little pink eraser for our back to school um, group. We'll go ahead and write it on this one as well. There we go. We have some erasers to put in with our lineup of our back to school cake pops. I hope you enjoyed this session. Please join me for the next one. Um, and until then, think outside the box, be creative, and God bless you. Today, won't you click the link to reserve your spot in my consultation schedule? Don't stress any longer. Let me help you get the breakthrough that you're looking for today.